Welcome to St. James's Hospital Eye Department. Every year around 5,000 cataract operations are performed in Leeds Teaching Hospital's NHS Trust. This information video will give you an idea of what to expect during your visits with us if you are considering having cataract surgery. You will have been referred by your GP or optometrist, usually because you have become aware that your vision is not as good as it used to be, and this is now causing you enough problems that you would be interested in considering cataract surgery if it were felt that this would improve your sight. So what exactly is cataract? Our eye is like a camera in that there is a lens inside that focuses the light. As we get older the lens becomes less clear and our vision correspondingly becomes less clear and in some cases we experience glare or are dazzled by lights such as car headlights in the evening or bright sunlight. The natural lens you were born with is located within a clear bag called the lens capsule inside the eye. In cataract surgery we remove your lens which has become cloudy from this capsular bag and replace it with a clear synthetic lens. To remove the cataract we make a tiny incision near the front of the eye. The cloudy cataract is broken up using ultrasound energy and remaining pieces of lens are sucked out through a narrow tube and the clear replacement synthetic lens is inserted in its place. Having been referred by your GP or optometrist, our first job is to make sure that it is just the cataract that is giving you visual problems. You will be examined by an eye doctor, as there can be other reasons for the vision to have become poor, such as clouding of the cornea, the clear window at the front of the eye, or ageing changes in the retina, the film at the back of the eye. Once it is determined that you have cataract, and that there is a good chance that removing this will improve your vision, we then need to decide what power of lens to choose to place into the eye. When replacing the cataract with a synthetic lens, we can choose any power of lens we wish to set the focus of the eye. Most people prefer to aim for clear vision in the distance without glasses. They would then expect to need glasses for reading, Occasionally, someone who is used to reading without glasses prefers to stay in this situation. We can therefore aim to leave their eye focused for near objects, but glasses will then be needed to see clearly in the distance for activities such as driving or even watching television. Despite careful lens selection, around half of patients find that they do still need glasses for both near and distance vision after cataract surgery, and many opt to use bifocal or very focal glasses. The problem is with my vision is when I'm driving I can't see properly because of my eyes they're like blurred as other headlights and I feel it's dangerous so that's why I've been asked if I can have a cataract operation. As with any operation there are risks involved with cataract surgery. These will be clearly explained to you when you are seen in clinic and you'll be asked to sign a consent form to show that you have understood the procedure and are happy to go ahead. Although the majority of people are delighted with the results of their operation, there can be disappointment, particularly when there are other eye problems such as age-related macular degeneration, glaucoma or diabetic eye disease. Once it is decided that you want to proceed with cataract surgery, details will be recorded of your general health and any medication you may be taking. Your eye will also need to be carefully measured to permit us to select the right lens for your eye. This is all done by our pre-assessment nurses. When you arrive in the ward, you will be greeted by the nursing staff who will prepare you for surgery. In order to maximise efficiency in theatre, we ask everyone to arrive early, at the start of the list, so that any problems can be dealt with to prevent delays. Unfortunately, this does mean that those who are near the end of the operating list may wait up to four hours before going in for the surgery. I'm nervous. I'm nervous because uh, I've been thinking about it and it's nothing really. It's just me. It doesn't mean I've had open heart surgery and everything done and I don't know what's making me be nervous. Well, I'm looking forward to having it done to, for improving my uh, sight, yeah. Uh, little, little anxious, but little nervous about it. But uh... a bit nervous, <laughs> a bit scared, you know. 
I think, because I don't know what's going to happen, I think that's, uh, you know, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been up since about half past six. Um, didn't sleep very well. And, uh, you know, I just want to get it over with. After you have been prepared for the operation, which will involve putting in some eye drops, and checking all your details and paperwork are correct, you will be taken through to the operating theatre. More eye drops to numb the eye will be put in and the area around the eye will be cleaned. Sometimes we may opt to give an anaesthetic injection in addition. Once the eye is numb, you will be taken into the theatre. We try to ensure you are in a comfortable position on the bed as you have to lie fairly still for the next 15 minutes or so. A sterile sheet is placed over your eye which sticks around the eye but is lifted away from your mouth and nose so you have plenty of air to breathe. The operation typically takes 15 minutes but can take up to 45 minutes as some cataracts are easier to remove than others. You shouldn't feel pain during the surgery although you will feel the surgeon touching around the eye and you may occasionally feel pressure on the eye itself. If pain is experienced then we can give additional eye drops during the operation to further numb the eye. After surgery, you will return to the ward where our nurses will explain how you should look after the eye and will give you the eye drops you will need for the next few weeks to help the eye settle down. Many patients will be given a shield to protect the eye after the operation, but this is not strictly necessary in all cases. You should certainly avoid rubbing the eye directly for a fortnight or so after surgery but you can wipe the eye gently if it is watering. The vision typically improves within the first few days after surgery in most cases, although the eye can take over a month to settle down in some cases. If at any point following the surgery your vision starts to deteriorate or the eye becomes painful, you should contact us and arrange for prompt review. It's different to what I expected. The only thing that I felt the pressure, a little bit of pressure when he was putting that, uh, I don't know, it's a clip or something, wasn't it? Yeah. But when he said, I'm going to put your lenses in, I didn't even know he'd put it in. There was no pain at all. And now I've come back from the theatre, and I can tell you that there's writing on the wall, and I couldn't even see that. It's only, what, quarter of an hour since I had the op, isn't it? Oh, yes, I can't believe that. better than I expected. It's just a bit uncomfortable keeping that eye still. A funny sensation. Just like someone's pouring a bucket of water all the time. I mean, I mean, I mean, I feel it running down. Excellent. I never felt anything. I won't come back to the other one. No problems as far as I'm concerned at all. I had it done in the, uh, at um, about four o'clock on a Friday. Friday night it was very blurry and scratchy. Saturday it sort of ached, it was a bit blurry, but by Saturday night it had cleared and after that I really had no trouble at all. And it has been, after it, I'd say on Sunday my vision was a lot better. You can see things you couldn't see before and everything's sharper. I can see further ahead, much clearer. I hadn't realised it was as bad as it was until you have it done and then you realise what you can't see. The day after my operation, I can't believe what I can see. I never believe that I've gone all this time not seeing things. Even my friend next door, she, she said I can't believe it. I couldn't even watch television properly and things I've missed. I couldn't even see my watch, see photographs. But my goodness, how I've put up with not seeing properly all these years, I cannot believe. And I've got to 76 and I've got a new lease of life. I really have. And I recommend it to anybody. Well, I just opened my eyes in the morning and everything was beautiful again. <laughs> and I could see everything vision-wise. Uh, it was just like... I was back to normal with before I walked. 
just a bit of egg, obviously, we watch it, what you get round round where the bone is. It, it was it was just amazing, really it was. In the first day or two after your operation, it is normal to expect the eye to water, and blood staining of the water from the eye is not uncommon. The eye may ache and feel gritty. Normal painkillers such as paracetamol and ibuprofen may be taken if required. Some patients notice double vision or blurred vision and others report discomfort with bright lights and opt to use sunglasses. On the morning after your operation, you should remove the eye shield if you have been given one and wash the eyelids gently with clean tissues and cool, previously boiled water to remove any stickiness from the eyelashes. The eye drops should be put in as prescribed. Some may wish to use the eye shield at night for the first few days after surgery and it may then be discarded. You should wipe the eye with clean tissues and avoid the use of a handkerchief. After cataract surgery, you are advised not to poke or rub the eye. The wound can take a few weeks to fully heal, so rubbing the eye risks opening the wound and possibly letting infection in. You should refrain from heavy lifting or gardening for two weeks after the operation and avoid eye makeup for two weeks also. Swimming or getting your hair dyed or perm should be avoided for six weeks. You may shower or bathe as normal, but avoid getting soap or shampoo in the eye. Light housework or shopping are permissible, as are reading or television watching. You may wear your old glasses, but often you will find that these are no longer suitable, and you will need to wait until you have been seen back in clinic before you can go to an optician to see about new glasses. After the operation, please contact us if your eye becomes painful despite the use of painkillers, especially if the vision is reducing or the eye is sticky. You will be given contact details for the eye department along with your eye drops after surgery.